What is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here for another video. Today, we have the Gemini Jets model aircraft uh, release this video for June 2023. Uh, so basically, these model airplane companies produce sets of models and they drop them at a very specific time using their molds. So we'll talk about what Gemini Jets did for June and there's a lot of really exciting stuff here. So let's pull this up. Uh, first off, we have this Air France Airbus 320. This is Foxtrot Dash. What is it? H Echo Zulu Foxtrot. This has the blue winglets. Not a great mold. The German Jet Airbus, I'd recommend getting the NG version. It'll be better. And then here we have an AL Maldi 747 SP uh, 3H November Alpha Golf. It's a registration. Now, German Jets has not made one of these in a long time. However, their sister company, JC Wings, has been using this mold a lot recently. So I'm not surprised that German Jets is making one as well. Next up, we got an Atlas Air Boeing 767-300 November 649 Golf Tango. Now, I do follow a first officer on um, Instagram who flies these things. So, he would probably like this model quite a bit and will probably pick it up. But, uh, this is one I might pick up as well. Pretty cool aircraft that they use for the charter operations. Next up, we got a Contour ERJ-145LR November 12552. Pretty cool aircraft. I want to say this used to be a United Express aircraft. And it now operates for Contour, which is a charter. They even had regular scheduled service for a little while, but that didn't quite work out for them. But pretty cool that this airline uh, exists. And it's a really neat charter company. I've seen this in Atlanta. So I definitely would like to pick up this model as it would be a nice addition to my collection. Next up, we've got the Copa Santo 7800. This is the retro one. The NG version is going to be better, so just pick up that one. Hotel Papa 1841 Charlie Mike Papa is a registration. Really cool livery. I love these retro liveries. They look quite nice. Next up, we got Delta Boeing 707-900 EI with the Skimitar Wireless. This is the third release of this model now. So pretty cool to see it. November 856 Delta November. So pretty cool aircraft to see right there. Next, we have a brand new mold for German Jets. This is the Delta Boeing 767-400. This is in the Ron Allen livery, the late 90s livery. November 826 Hotel, Mike Hotel is a registration. Pretty cool aircraft. Very neat to see them bring out the 764 mold. From my understanding, this will be a modified version of the Harper mold, which already existed. I have two Harper Delta 767-400s in my collection. It's a very nice mold. So if Jeremy just, just modified it, basically added antenna, SATCOM boxes, things like that, added some more printing details, it'll be a nice model. Now maybe it's an all brand new mold, but I don't think so. I think it's a modification of the Harper mold. But we will find out when the pictures finally come out, when it shows up in collector's hands. This is not the only new mold though this month. There are some very exciting molds. And the reason for all these great models is because German Jet is celebrating 25 years of production. So they're doing quite a few special models this year. We've got Hawaiian Airlines 717-200. This one is November 491 Hotel Alpha. I believe this is their fourth or fifth release of one of these. And then we have a Trump 757-200. November 918 Tango Sierra is the delivery. This was an airline that the now former president once owned. Um, it was a New York-based airline. It's kind of an interesting airline. didn't last a very long time, but it was an interesting part of New York aviation history. Moving down to the Gemini 200 releases. Of course, we had the Alaska 175. This was in the Horizon Air Retro livery. Number about 652. Mike Kilo is a registration. I will like this livery. It looks so nice, and it looks great on the 175. Then we had the British Airways 777 200ER one-world livery. This one is often both flaps up and flaps extended versions. Golf. Yankee Mike Mike Romeo is the registration. A cool aircraft, quite expensive, and not really one I'm going to pick up. FedEx MD-11F, uh, November 564 Foxtrot Echo. This is another brand new mold. This is an interactive series mold. I've done videos on what these are. These are basically model airplanes where the doors can be represented in the open and closed position, the cargo doors. So that's really cool. Some of them have an opening L1 door in 200 scale. This one appears not to, though. Still, really cool model, and really neat that Jerry Jess is making these. So that's the second new mold. We have Fly BQ400, Golf Hotel, Charlie Charlie Echo. This is for the now late Fly B Airlines. They went bankrupt again, 
probably for the last time. But for those who are interested in the final variant of Flybeat, here's a model of it. Next up, we got a Midway Airlines DC-9-15, November 1065 Tango. Really cool livery and really cool aircraft. Even though this was a 90s era livery, this livery actually looks fairly modern, which uh, shows the forward thinking of that design. Next up, we got a Republic Airways E-175. This was released in foreign scale last month. November 480-402 Yankee X-Ray. This is in the house colors for Republic Airways. Pretty cool model. Then we have the final new mold. This is the Antonov 124 in turn scale. This one is the Russian Air Force variant. Romeo Alpha 82035. Pretty cool to see. Really cool aircraft. Um, one of the reasons for this no shape here is because uh, these Russian aircraft were designed with the potential to be converted to a bomber aircraft. So that's the reason for that hump there, actually. Um, and then we have Tennessee 1 in both flaps and slats extended and retracted. November 862, what is this? Uh, 8620 Hotel. And um, you can't really see from the artwork, but this one had the flaps and pylons extended. It looks quite nice. I have one on a Southwest 737. Then we have the Trump Boeing 757-200. November 757 Alpha Foxtrot. Really cool aircraft. This is in his new livery that he's going to use for his 2024 campaign. Really cool livery. And uh, regardless of what you think of the individual, he does have some cool airplanes. So that is one of the things that money can get you are some cool planes. So what I think... I think these are overall really nice. Of course, Jet is mostly a U.S. and like European company, as you can tell by the models they make. But really cool model aircraft. And there's a bunch here that I think I'm going to pick up. Three new molds. Jet really is celebrating the 25th anniversary correct, in my opinion. So, that's it for this video. Put your comments down below on what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. God bless you.